We uh, here at Theatrical Outfit, we're Atlanta's second oldest continually operating professional theater. The Alliance Theater in town, um, the big regional house, um, would be the oldest in town. So we're a professional theater company. We do six or so shows a year, plays, musicals, world premieres. And then we're also, when we're not producing our own work, we're a rental house for a lot of companies. Theatrical Outfit, um, was formerly Heron's Restaurant. The historical establishment of this building is we were originally the Heron's Restaurant, which was the first restaurant in Atlanta to voluntarily desegregate. And Heron's was a restaurant that began in the 30s here down in downtown Atlanta when downtown was very different. So it's a huge, you know, landmark in Atlanta for not only being a wonderfully delicious restaurant with famous cinnamon rolls, but also for the civil rights movement and it being so progressive at that time. So that's what we initially were, and then Theatrical Outfit came in I believe 10 years ago and kind of found the shell of the restaurant and we decided to fill it in and bring this historical place back to life. We have everything here from spoken word to, to, to readings to bands to poetry slam. So, so we're kind of operating all year round even when it's not our own work. Well, I definitely think the community has a huge impact on us. I know one element to what Theatrical Outfit tries to do is we try to feature local playwrights or new works or um, you know stories that are about the South. We frequently do you know shows that do you know deal with um, racial issues and things of that nature and we also you know there's just a southern element that's here that I don't think you would find at other theaters. During the recession years, 2007, 8, 9, 10, and then when, when everything got rough in the country, theater suffered and we lost a couple theaters in Atlanta, which was very sad. Um, but things are different now and theaters um, of our size are doing, doing very well. And it's personally very thrilling to me to sort of be home and to be a southern person trying to um, keep do my part to keep it alive. And we do that by trying to provide um, material that really speaks to people or moves people or encourages people to go out and change their lives and change the world. I also think that we have a great impact on the community in that they get to come here and experience something local that speaks to them but also pushes them to be better and to make Atlanta a better place. Generally just unique to our space is, I think, the fact that so much soul goes into everything we do here. Um, and we really take the fact that we are in a historical location very seriously and try and pay tribute to that as frequently as we can by continuing that respect of history on our stage. I am thrilled that I've worked at three or four theaters in Atlanta and still freelance with one or two, and this has, um, over the last three or four years that I've been here, really become home. I do think that there's a lot more to the South and to Atlanta than a lot of people think, especially if you're looking in on the outside, you kind of have this perception of the South. Um, you think, you know, only good theaters found, you know, in New York or Chicago or up North or all these big, you know, thriving art scenes. But really, there's a lot to be found here just in Atlanta. And I like to think that Theatrical Outfit does a particularly good job of showcasing Atlanta.